I have a concept for all the artists out there who'd like to uh, mess around in Minecraft, especially with as much freedom as possible. This is 18w03b, so there is obviously the chance that it won't work for 1.13. Be that as it may, you can use this in the current snapshot, and you can draw on any surface you want. So let's say I wanted to switch over to a blue wall. You can see there's a lot of stuff that I've done here. It works on any surface, vertical, horizontal, plane. Um, and you, all you need to do is just select the artwork or the wall block from the creative inventory. I've just installed six colors here. You don't have to have these colors. You can edit the data pack as you wish. So it's on my offhand slot and all I need to do is right click. You can see the spray can emanating the dust particles. I'm not going to ruin this Kermit drawing that I did. And uh, this is just my little uh, splashing rough, uh, rough draft stuff. Uh, where I can just uh, test out things. So it doesn't matter what I draw. And uh, the cool thing about this is I've programmed the ability for this game to know how far away from the block you are. So I'm pretty high up. It's going to draw on a 3x3 three three, um, blotch, essentially. If I go and uh, get close to the ground, it will thin out the brush and I can now draw with a single block. So very nice. There's a lot of control there as well and uh, obviously more precision if you are close to the ground. Now, however, there is one problem. If you get really close, because it's on your offhand slot, you will be placing the block down. So just make sure you don't have the, um, the outline of the block so you're actually far, far enough away that it will not place the block down, but it will paint regardless of that. Okay, so let's just uh, fly around here. I've drawn a few things. Um, this is the Olympic ring. Obviously, Winter Olympics are happening in about a week's time. This is the Mario M. There's a laptop. It's terrible and you can see that I used this plane uh, to my advantage here so because the laptop is open here I drew the screen on this side on the landscape side here and on the ground I drew the keyboard so um, this works uh, infinite ways essentially and the range it will not shy away as well from that okay I was actually too far away there but you can see that I'm able to draw um, from pretty far away so it won't shy away from that challenge. This spray can is pretty powerful and you can see that there is the limit right there. Even so, it does a lot of work for you. Okay, so uh, I drew a hello here with a bit of artwork. It's still graffiti-like. Um, obviously graffiti artworks have a lot of 3D aspects to them um, and a lot of outlines with different colors. There's Pikachu and um, obviously from this angle you can't see it but I used a bit of perspective here and you can see the Pikachu form from there. Obviously, I draw it from here, so it won't work otherwise. Um, that says Pika, so it works along the corners here. There's a Pokeball, there's Kermit. It says Kermit here, if you guys, if you guys didn't know. Um, obviously, it's pretty hard to tell because I'm a terrible artist. Um, but let me just demonstrate it one more time. So I can draw whatever I like. Let's go with the red wall here. Let's say I wanted to draw Mew. Uh, so there's the face. There's the body. It's got his arms. Yeah, it's, it's you got to be pretty slow... If you're too fast, it will have gaps, but that's obviously because it's pretty heavy, and um, if you rush it, the armor stand won't summon uh, at every angle that you take. And uh, let's do the, uh, I don't know, eyes. Nice. And let's draw the tail. And the tail's pretty long for Mew, right? There you go, that's Mew, okay? <laughs> it looks like an elongated Kirby with a tail. Kirby doesn't have a tail. So, um... You can have a bit of fun with this if you're a really good artist. You can draw like a blood trail here, uh, and I don't know a bit of a bit of manure. There's a data packs folder here. You just transfer it over to this side. Here we go. Downloaded, and in your single player world, you don't need to uh, exit the world. That's fine. Just reload. It will be enabled by default. Give yourself a repeating command block, and once you've done that, just go function function main. You want to go to the main one because this is where it loops everything. Copy that into the command block. Always active. It's going to run all these things. If you want to turn that off, be my guest. You should probably do that. Command block output. So command block output false. And then once you have that all enabled, give yourself a carrot on a stick. This is with a resource pack. I will not be putting the resource pack for download because it's among a lot of other things that I have. Um, you can just use a carrot on a stick. It's totally fine. Black wool. Uh, any wool that I uh, showcased in the first part of the video are the ones which I uh, installed for this game. In fact, I'm feeling yellow right now. Alright, so once you have that done, look how far I am from this mountain. It is crazy good. 
and um, in color in the trees in white if you wish it's one of the more beautiful things that I've done I think you can also color in the water if you like because it's also a block so it just checks for non air blocks and that's why it works so well so hope you guys enjoyed this you can download it if you like and uh, any oh bit of lag uh, any youtubers who like to try this out go for it I really love this and I'm sure you guys will as well and hopefully it won't change too much when 1.13 is released because I do want to keep this thank you all for watching leave a like download this subscribe for more creative content Take care.